Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, hope everyone's good. Um, today we're gonna unbox this guy, girl, whatever we wanna call it. Uh, unbox this base, it's my first fender. And uh, I got it uh, a little bit as an investment, uh, more than because um, I really, really had to have a um, P base, but, um, but it's a P base, it's a fender, so that way, um, you know, I'll have the standard to compare everything else to. Uh, this is a made in Japan, limited edition Maui Blue Fender P Base. So we're going to see what it looks like. Um, I'm pretty confident it's in good shape. The box looks really nice. Um, it feels really solid compared to the last base I got. And, uh, I'm pretty confident it's going to look good, but I want to see what the color looks like in real life. Maybe tomorrow we'll um, take it out in the real Maui sunshine. I live on Maui, by the way. So that's part of the reason I bought this um, in Maui blue being the color. Um, I had it in my shopping cart and then uh, I heard it was being discontinued and there were only a few left. So I bit the bullet and I ordered one. And uh, so we're gonna see if it goes up or down in value. Um, it was a thousand dollars, pretty much nine hundred and change. Um, and uh, so we'll see how it holds its value. I'm gonna pretty much keep it. It supposedly comes with a case. I'm mostly gonna keep it in the case and just uh, take it out and play it every now and again. Um, mostly, I still like my Yamahas. I gotta admit, but we'll see. Maybe Fender will win me over with this. Uh, base. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, it would just be best off just sliding it right out. Oh, there we go. With that. Um, so I got this straight off of eBay from a company called, what is it, Flever? Flever Sounds in Japan. And so I think I'm just gonna keep everything kind of in the package. Um, what do you got here? There is a strap in there, how about that? And um, Ziploc that's got the Allen key. And let's see what our little fender. Welcome, welcome to the Fender family. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, by the way, I've got my fake P-Base there. I made myself out of parts and a Squire Jaguar there. Um, it's a classic vibe of $450 base. So we'll see how this compares to those two. This has just got warranty information. Uh, Register it, thank you, contact info. Okay, not too exciting there. And our strap, I guess that's, I wonder if that came from the company or from Fender. And what's this? Warranty, shaped like a pick with little, uh, and that's all in Japan, but this does say limited color P base, RW Maui Blue. I don't know what RW means. Limited International Color P Base. RW Maui Blue. Anybody know what RW means? Hey, by the way, you guys, um, I need a few subscriptions to make 500. So I don't usually ask, but hit subscribe, please. That'd be awesome. Super appreciate it. And uh, if we can get to 500, how about when you get to 500, we'll do a review of this Maui Blue P Base. What do you think? And uh, also, I have a review plan for my um, new uh, Yamaha TRBX 604 in transparent black, plain maple. So that's coming up too. So, like I said, hit subscribe. Get me to 500. What am I at? I'm, I'm thinking I'm at like 350 or something. So help me out. Cool. And we can buy more bases. Not that 
makes a difference. I buy these with my own money. I'm just a waiter on Maui. And uh, I'm just hoping this kind of, oh, there goes the bubble wrap. Hoping this is just sort of a keepsake and a little collector's item for me in a way. Okay, this thing is well packaged. Right, yeah, so uh, other guitar companies take note. This is how to wrap a bass. Actually, I saw, um, looks like the company, uh, the um, guitar company, Clever Sounds. Shout out to Clever Sounds. They sent me some pictures of them packaging it up. And uh, so they did a real nice job. Thank you, Flavor Sounds. And here we go. Uh, I'm also curious how this uh, case competes with the one that came with my um, Yamaha BB700 series. And it's definitely not quite as beefy as that one, but in a way it's kind of a little lighter weight. All right, so there it is in the soft case. Uh, the soft case does not have um, shoulder shafts, but it looks like it's made to hold shoulder shafts, sort of. It's got two hooks there and a hook there, so maybe there's some, maybe that's what that strap in there is for. Maybe that's not a guitar stuff, maybe this is a, uh, uh, yeah, I think this might just go with the, you know? hmm, yeah, that's not a guitar strap, it must be for this thing, so, I don't know, one shoulder, maybe, am I even in the camera, probably not. Alright, so anyway, let's open this bad boy up. Just over there, we've got a zipper here. Pocket there. Handles and the strap kind of runs diagonally. So, no zipper. Oh, there's even padding inside. Dun, 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 dun. We're getting there. All right. Ooh, I like see some color. Okay. Not going that out of the way. Definitely not quite the case I got with my Yamaha. But uh, that was a really nice case. Yeah, once again, clever sounds. Wrapping it up tight. I lost my knife. There we go. Muscle. Oh, looks pretty. Ooh, glossy neck. With the skunk stripe. Fender tuners. Oh, and it's a beautiful blue. There we go. And that's my Fender P Bass. It's nice and light. I like that. Maple neck. F for Fender. Up here it says, does it say serial number there and made in Japan precision base there. Can you see that? All right. So it's got the thumb rest. That actually feels kind of good. And metal knobs. Jack comes out there. Basic standard fender bridge. And uh, that's about all there is to it. Plain back. 
And a uh, little California Proposition 65 warning there. Use this base at your own risk. So I don't know if I have to save that for momentous value, but there we go. Okay, folks. And there is a black stripe. I didn't know for sure, but we do have a black stripe around the pick guard. So it's a three piece pick guard. And um, yeah, this Maui blue is not as light as I thought it might be, which I kind of like. It's got a little um, darkness to it. Uh, so that's cool. It's not exactly a sky blue. It's a little darker than most sky blues, I'd say. So that's it, Maui Blue, limited edition, made in Japan, Fender, for $1,000. Will it go up or down in value? Did I make a good purchase? Leave it in the comments. Hit subscribe, get me to 500, uh, so I can make more foolish purchases like this and uh, justify them to myself. All right, so there's a, the, most of these are almost sold out. If you want one, get one quick. Um, there's some jazz basses left. They're about a hundred dollars more. Um, I like the P bass better than the jazz bass, so I got the P bass, but um, there we go. Hey, have a great day and aloha.